kind of a scary trick coming down from Dan Rather through Twitter. But this morning he asks the question he doesn't want to be asked, supposedly about Trump. Why has it taken this long for anyone to speak out or say what they knew about his deranged temperamental childishness and hostility for American norms? Well, the idea that we should have to fight forces more powerful than us that are federalized in order to preserve the laws of the United States, meaning if we try to live by the laws of our society, we will be punished by the powers that be in our society. It's certainly not new, and I've never heard Dan Rather speak out about them. In fact, the federal contempt for American due process, for American rights, is so obvious in what they have done to me over 61 years that I don't see how anyone can miss the point that I was a law-abiding person looking for law-abiding guidance who had no power to protect myself from the brutality and slaughtering mania of the federal establishment. The powers that be tortured me for being law-abiding. They tortured me for trying to negotiate the customs of what Dr. Ralph Proctor calls the provincial norms in the state of Pennsylvania, specifically the Hicks around Eastminster Church in the East Liberty District of Pittsburgh. I was dealing with the Kremlin insane. The more I investigated, the more clear that it came from the federal establishment. Barking mad. Nobody ever asked any questions. For them, rather, all things were the opposite of what they appeared. It continues to work that way. Now, there's a certain amount of admiration for American culture's heritage of the lonely doofus. Oliver Stone lionized Jim Garrison's presumed efforts to make sense of events in New Orleans in the, involving Lee Harvey Oswald. It's an interesting story. There's a movie called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, which Oliver Stone himself compared his film to. There's the story of the... Um, uh, ribald, good for nothing, language artist H.L. Mencken said to have driven a camel into church. There's these sort of anecdotes and asides. Huck Finn swearing, but he knew what he was about, they said. Mark Twain or Tom Sawyer, whichever one was more benign, knew what he was about. You have um, a whole lonely cast of heroes and anti-heroes that rise to the occasion of folk admiration. The lonely doofus, I call them. And this is supposedly some sort of um, Christian hazing that is necessary for character building in Hollywood's cinema scope. And the rights of American people are voided to the actions of the media, the federal barbarians, and Hollywood cinema scope. If you want to obey the customs and laws of the United States, you will be persecuted, brutalized, tortured, defamed, poisoned, and probably murdered at your loved one's rape by the federal establishment because you tried to obey the laws, because you struggled as hard as you could to obey the laws, and that's against the powers that be.